Picture this, World War II, a time of global turmoil, but amidst the chaos, a unique narrative unfolds in the Soviet Union. A narrative that turned societal norms on their head and threw the weight of a nation's defense onto shoulders that had, until then, been relegated to the home front. Today we delve into a chapter of history that is as remarkable as it is underappreciated. The story of the Soviet women who served in World War II. In the face of the greatest conflict the world had ever seen, the Soviet Union did something unprecedented. It enlisted over 800,000 women into its armed forces, assigning them to combat roles. Yes, you heard that right. Over 800,000 women, many of whom were barely out of their teens, were thrust onto the front lines of a brutal war. This was a time when societal norms largely dictated that women were to be caregivers, not warriors. The concept of a woman serving in combat was not just novel, it was downright revolutionary, and yet, in the Soviet Union it became a reality. A reality born out of necessity, perhaps, but a reality nonetheless. The challenges these women faced were immense. They had to prove themselves in a world that was largely dominated by men. They had to overcome biases and prejudices that questioned their capabilities solely based on their gender. They had to face the harsh realities of war, the violence, the bloodshed, the loss. And they had to do all this while carrying the weight of their nation's hopes and fears. Yet, despite these challenges, they persevered. They fought with courage and resilience, proving their worth on the battlefield time and time again. They became pilots, snipers, tank drivers, and medics. They became warriors. Against all odds, these women stood firm, ready to guard their motherland. Among these brave women, Lyudmila Pavlichenko stood out as one of the deadliest snipers in history. Born in a small Ukrainian town, Lyudmila was no stranger to hardship. From an early age, she developed a knack for marksmanship, honing her skills with a rifle she found at home. As the dark clouds of World War II loomed over the Soviet Union, Lyudmila didn't hesitate. She enlisted in the Red Army, eager to defend her homeland. But the road to the battlefield was no easy journey. As a woman, she was initially offered the role of a nurse, but Lyudmila was adamant she wanted to fight. Eventually, her persistence paid off. She was sent to the Central Women's Sniper Training School, where she excelled, proving her mettle in the face of adversity. Lyudmila's first taste of combat was during the Siege of Odessa. Despite the gunfire and chaos, she remained calm and focused. Her sniper rifle became an extension of her will, every shot a testament to her skill and determination. Each squeeze of the trigger was measured, deliberate, and deadly. Her reputation grew with each confirmed kill. Soldiers and commanders alike whispered her name in awe. Pavlichenko, the woman who could make a single bullet change the course of a battle. Her kills number 309, making her one of the top military snipers of all time. She was feared by her enemies and revered by her comrades. But Lyudmila was more than just a sniper. She was a symbol of hope, of resilience. She challenged gender norms, proving that courage and bravery knew no gender. She was a beacon of light in the darkest hours of the war, a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Soviet people. So, when we speak of heroes of World War II, let's remember Lyudmila Pavlichenko. Not just as a sniper, but as a woman who broke barriers, who fought not just for her country but for the recognition of women in combat. Lyudmila Pavlichenko, the woman who made every shot count. Another remarkable woman, Nadezhda Popova, took to the skies flying perilous nighttime bombing missions. Nadezhda, a fearless young woman with a heart of steel, was one of the select few chosen to be part of the Night Witches, an all-female bombing regiment of the Soviet Air Forces. Born into a family of railroad workers in 1921, Nadezhda's passion for aviation was ignited at an early age. By the time she was 16, she was already a trained pilot. When the war broke out, her skills didn't go unnoticed. She was recruited into the 588th Night Bomber Regiment, a unit that would later earn the moniker Night Witches. The Night Witches were no ordinary regiment. They flew obsolete biplanes, originally designed for crop dusting and training. These planes were slow, made entirely of wood and canvas and lacked any defensive armor. But in the hands of the Night Witches, they became instruments of terror. Nadezhda flew an astonishing 852 missions during the war. Despite the danger, she embraced each mission with courage and determination. She and her comrades would cut their engines, gliding silently through the night to drop their bombs on the unsuspecting enemy below. In one notable mission, 
Nadezhda managed to return safely despite her plane being riddled with bullet holes. Another time, she successfully landed her damaged plane, only to take off again in a new one, continuing her mission. Despite the constant peril, Nadezhda was known for her unshakable calm. Her bravery was recognized with numerous awards, including the prestigious title of Hero of the Soviet Union. But for Nadezhda, the real victory was not in the medals, but in the contribution she made to the war effort. Nadezhda Popova, along with the other night witches, challenged traditional gender norms and proved that women could hold their own in combat. Their courage and resilience not only helped the Soviet Union win the war, but also paved the way for future generations of women in the military. Nadezhda Popova, the night witch who ruled the skies. Her legacy continues to inspire and remind us of the untold stories of bravery and sacrifice made by women during World War II. On the ground, Maria Oktyabrskaya, a fearless tank driver, shattered enemy lines with unwavering determination. This is the tale of a woman who turned her personal tragedy into a rallying cry for her nation during the darkest days of World War II. Maria Oktyabrskaya was not born a soldier. She was a young wife, living a quiet life until the war took away her husband. Devastated by the loss and filled with a burning desire for vengeance, Maria sold everything she owned and did something unthinkable. She bought a tank, not just any tank, but a T-34 medium tank, one of the most heavily armored fighting vehicles of the Soviet Union. But Maria didn't stop there. She wrote a letter to the Soviet government requesting to drive her tank to the front line. She wanted to personally avenge her husband's death, to feel the rumble of the tank beneath her as she crashed through enemy lines. And so, Maria became the first female tank driver to go into combat. She named her tank Fighting Girlfriend, a bold declaration of her intent. On the battlefield, Maria was a force to be reckoned with. Her courage was legendary, her determination unyielding. She fought with the ferocity of a grieving widow in the heart of a true patriot. Maria's impact on the battlefield was profound. She shattered enemy lines, destroyed enemy tanks, and became a symbol of female resilience and strength. But more than that, she challenged the traditional gender norms of the time. She was not just a woman fighting in a man's war, she was a woman driving change, quite literally. Her story is a testament to the power of the human spirit, the courage of women, and the indomitable will of a nation at war. Maria Oktyabrskaya was not just a tank driver, she was a beacon of hope, a symbol of defiance, a true war hero. Maria Oktyabrskaya, the woman who drove change, quite literally, her legacy lives on, a reminder of the unsung heroes of World War II, the women who took up arms and fought with courage, determination, and unyielding resilience. These stories of courage and resilience are but a glimpse into the vital role Soviet women played in World War II. Indeed, over 800,000 women served in combat roles, a feat unparalleled in the annals of military history. They were pilots and snipers, tank drivers and medics, partisans and members of the anti-aircraft defense. They fought with courage, demonstrating exceptional bravery and resilience in the face of overwhelming adversity. These women were not just soldiers, they were pioneers, breaking through the barriers of traditional gender norms. They challenged the conventions of their time, stepping into roles traditionally reserved for men. In doing so, they shattered the glass ceiling proving that women were just as capable as their male counterparts on the battlefield. Their contributions were significant not just to the Soviet war effort, but to the global understanding of women's capabilities. They helped turn the tide of the war, playing a crucial role in some of the most decisive battles. Their efforts were instrumental in the eventual defeat of the Axis powers, thus changing the course of history. Beyond the battlefield, these women also left a lasting legacy. They helped reshape societal perceptions of women's roles, not just in the Soviet Union, but globally. Their bravery and resilience served as a beacon of empowerment, inspiring generations of women to step out of traditional roles and strive for equality. Yet despite their significant contributions, the stories of these women are often overlooked, their sacrifices largely unrecognized. It's a glaring omission, a missing chapter in our collective memory of World War II, but today, we remember them. We honor their courage, their resilience, their indomitable spirit. These women, these heroes, forever etched their names in the annals of history, their legacy a testament to courage, resilience, and the indomitable human spirit. 
They were more than just soldiers, they were trailblazers, pioneers, and heroes, their stories a testament to the power of the human spirit, the power of women. Their legacy lives on, inspiring future generations to break barriers and reach for the stars.